Hey guys, how you doing? Alright, so uh, I got a little video here about uh, somebody doing a water jet cut right there and uh, I wanted to share that with you and uh, basically what it is is uh, if you don't know, water jet is a way to cut uh, you know, steel, aluminum, whatever it is and it uses a high pressure nozzle to do it. Uh, a lot of knife makers like myself start off using uh, uh, you know grinders and dremels and everything else and then when you once you get to the point where you are looking to progress and and make your life a lot easier you might have to use some water jet or a CNC machine and what I like about water jet is that it's it's quick it's relatively not that expensive and it won't burn your steel okay it just uses a high pressure hose uh, a high pressure nozzle to cut steel and it, it's it works awesome now the people that I use uh, is mostly New Jersey because it's local to me and um, I think that uh, they do a great job but I just want to go over some pricing and if you are interested in doing some water jet uh, for your blades and your blanks uh, do note that uh, although it's very time uh, it, it cuts your time down almost to half you still have to uh, once you get the blanks back you still have to do the bevels you still have to do the grinds, you still have to send it to heat treat, you still got to put the handles and the sheath and the sharpening and all that stuff. So the only thing that it alleviates is the fact that you no longer have to take the bar stock, cut it, grind it, you know, and then carry on from there. So water jetting does uh, a lot, a tremendous amount of work. Now, some people say, well, does that cut down on the price? Well, like I said, it, it cuts down on the time it doesn't necessarily cut down on the price and that's what I want to go to uh, real quickly here alright this is New Jersey Steel Baron this is the guy that I buy my steel from all the time Al is a great guy uh, and I want to show you this is my water jetter okay this is where I go alright you can see that New Jersey water jet there's none in New York or else I'd use it but uh, as you can see right there he does uh, cut blanks all right. Uh, the way I've been doing it is I, I cut one out from steel, I send it to him, he puts it in the computer, and once it's in the computer, it comes up with designs. All right. Those designs are then fed to the computer, and then it's cut. Uh, I have to buy plate steel to do it. All right. So let's go to some pricing. Some of you guys think, well, you know, it can't be that much. Well, check that out right there, guys. All right. I don't know if you can see that if it's uh, zoomed in enough, but. Basically, what I do is I create this. I create the the steel blank. I send it to him. Like I said, he puts it in the computer. It's a CAD file or a CAD file conversion. Uh, the way he does it, the way Larry does it at New Jersey Water Jet, is he takes he takes the blank, he gives it to somebody, and then that person charges him, and of course he charges me back. Uh, for this process right here, I took four of my drawings, and uh, you know sent them over to him and he sent me back the CAD images um, and you could see here for the conversions from regular steel to a drawing he charged me a hundred bucks alright sometimes these water jet guys do it themselves sometimes they hire it out but 25 a drawing is not expensive when you have a guy that's actually sitting there measuring your piece of steel and then putting it into the computer they do have scanners now that can do that this guy does not have it so he has to measure everything out or at least sub it out uh, so drawing one take a look I ordered 20 pieces of drawing one and he's charging me 525 for each alright sounds pretty cheap right drawing two 750 for 20 drawing three 825 and then drawing four which is the buoy knife uh, he's charging me 9.25 for 10. So I asked him, I says, why am I getting charged, you know, all these different prices? And his answer was, you're basically getting charged per inch. So if you, if the bigger the blade or the longer the length or the longer the water jet has to move around, the more expensive the cut's going to be. Now this might look like very cheap pricing, but when you add this all up, you're over $600. So like I said, water jetting is pretty good, but the bottom line is, is that you have to have the money up front. He's not going to ship me the blanks until that money is in his hand, or at least the checks in his hand. Uh, so I have to pay $100 for this, and then another $500 for all my blanks. Now, I didn't even order the steel. Okay, I have to order the steel. All right, so I go to uh, New Jersey Steel Baron, and between him and New Jersey Water Jet, New Jersey Water Jet will say, "All right, um, these are the dimensions." 
Aldo steal the you know deliver me this steel I have to then purchase the steel from Aldo uh, what the steel baron will do is he will take that that those plates of steel because you're not buying bar stock anymore you're buying plates those plates will be shipped directly over to the water jet company the water jet for free which is nice because if he has to pay for it then what will happen is they'll charge me back again all right so just letting you guys know that you see where all this money is now I'm paying six hundred dollars for the cuts how much do you think I'm paying for the steel? Well, that depends. Do you want high-grade steel? Do you want you know regular carbon steel? Do you want stainless steel? I mainly buy 1095 high carbon steel, so I'm looking at at least four or five hundred bucks. All right. So now I'm already into the blanks and the steel. All right, for 1100 bucks. Okay, and that money comes up front out of my pocket. So now I want to show you. Uh, this guy's still cutting over here, that's fine. Um, with all that pricing involved, I want to show you some of the uh, the images. All right, this is one of the blanks. Let me go down. All right, this is the talon that I'm getting cut out. Okay. This is the huntsman. That's the new one that I'm getting cut out. These are the blanks that I sent them. This is the new mosquito, the, mosqu the mosquito XL. All right. So those are all quarter inch 1095. All right, the circle is where it's going to be cut out. So what he does is, and I want to thank Kylie real quick. Um, this is a free program called Draft uh, Draft Site, and uh, Draft Site is free. I'll put the link below if you're interested. It's like a free CAD program that you can learn. You, you could, you know, work with it a little bit. But basically, this is the image. Of that first drawing that you saw this is the talent and as you can see right there it has an X and Y uh, and that's to tell the computer this image right here is a DXF file him and I uh, the, the water jet uh, we spoke about you know how do we you know I sent him the metal uh, his guy put it in and then we did some corrections so you can see here it has jimping up top it has the big hole in the back and he has to let me then approve it. All right, so that's what we're doing here. This is the talent, it's got a drop point, and as you can see, this design looks pretty good. I give him the okay, and he's gonna cut out my 20 blanks. All right, just wanna show you a couple more. All right, this is the American buoy. All right, very large knife. Let me see if I could scale out a little bit. All right, this is the one that was almost $10 per cut. All right, see how big it is, all right. I don't want to save changes there. No, let's bring up another one. All right, draft site. Okay. All right. So this uh, this image then becomes mine. All right. So that's what you're paying for. The 25 bucks is to create a CAD image, and this CAD image is now yours. You can take it to any water jet company you want, and as long as they can read a DXF file, um, you know it's yours. You could also print this out in. Um, I think there's a there's a way in here to format it into a PDF or something like that. So, you know, if if you guys are interested, I, I definitely suggest that uh, this is a, a decent way to go. Uh, like I said, you do have to have the money up front. Um, you know, you have to buy the steel, you have to buy the cuts. Once that's done, you still got to send all those blades to heat treat. You still got to get them seracoded. You still got to buy the handle material. Um, and if you're making Kydex sheets or leather sheets, you still got to buy that material as well. Um, so I hope this kind of improved on the process of uh, your understanding and the process of uh, making knives and um, you know using the water jet system. Uh, it's it's a decent system. Uh, I don't think you're going to go wrong. Uh, primarily, the reason you do it uh, or I do it is for speed and also because of the accuracy. All the steel is going to be exactly the same. It's always going to be cut exactly the same. The holes are always going to be lined up exactly the same. Um, so, you know, the accuracy and, and, you know, this is sort of what they call a semi-custom knife. Uh, it is no longer uh, hand milled, but uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, progress my skills and progress my knife making. Uh, and, and it's going to work out great. I, I think these blades are going to be outstanding. They're going to sell really well, and I think a lot of people will be happy. Um, so like I said, I have about 80 blades coming in the mail, um, and I do have another 30 or 40 Master Chiefs. Actually, let me show you if I can pull that one up. 
this was the this was the first batch that I did. I'll give you a little bit more of a an idea of how the machine works. And you can see the Master Chief. What he does is he takes the blades and he puts them side by side on a steel. And this red line is actually, uh, I guess, the point to where the uh, the machine is doing its cut. So it comes in at one end, comes back up, and cuts like that. So gives you a little bit more idea how it works. Um, and like I said, it's it's free. The, uh, the the draft site is free, and it's a good program if you can learn how to use it. I, I haven't mastered it yet, but I plan to, and I want to thank Kylie at uh, Knives and Stuff for that. All right, guys. So I hope this gives you a little bit more information on water jetting, how it works. Um, you know, if you have the money and and time is essential, like mine is, um, you know, definitely look into it. Uh, you don't have to use my guys. There's water jet companies all over the place, steel manufacturers all over the place. But if you want, I'll put their links below. All right, guys. Hope you appreciate the vid. Uh, stay safe out there. See you soon.